California volcanoes have been mapped. These are the active volcanoes that could threaten California. The USGS has come out with a statement, a warning, for California volcanoes that could have activity. Some of them are overdue. And uh, Californians usually think that it's an earthquake that they have to be prepared for. But it could be that they have to uh, be aware of the volcanic situation. Now, this is by Georgia Laud on Express UK. California is a hotbed of seismic activity. It's got 28 volcanoes across the whole state. Eight of these are classified as active. And you can see them on the map, which ones are the most dangerous volcanoes across, across California. And now we know that we have uh, various quake swarms around California on a daily basis, hundreds of earthquakes. Uh, I'll leave a link below for you for the size of Berkeley because you can have, they have the smallest to the biggest there because USGS does not report all of them. Uh, there are recorded hundreds every day, but a few of them, only a few are reported. So um, you have to be aware that they've come out with an announcement that a volcanic eruption is probable the USGS, United States Geological Survey report, highlighted the risk of U.S. volcanoes pinpointing those with lava beneath them. And the document says that the probability of another small to moderate size eruption to take place in California over the next 30 years is estimated to be uh, 60, at 16 percent. And now geologists claim that 16 percent eruption is a very high percentage. Uh, there are eight young, uh, eight young enough volcanoes in the area labeled moderate, high, or very high threat spread throughout the state from Oregon down to Mexico. USGS reports that out of these eight volcanoes, there has been magma discovered underneath at least seven of them. These volcanoes are Medicine Lake Volcano, Mount Shasta, Lassen Volcanic Center, Clear Lake Volcanic Field, Long Valley Volcanic Region. You know what Long Valley? Long Valley is a super volcano. The Coso Volcanic Field and Salt and Buttes. Now, uh, the, the thing is that we also have the recent qu uh, uh, quake swarms at uh, Pisgah Crater and uh, that uh, those areas are uh, expected to perhaps be active. Now, due to the molten rock underneath them, the magma, these volcanoes are considered active and are producing earthquakes, which are, in effect, volcanic earthquakes. They're also degassing. A lot of them are uh, mud uh, volcanoes, like the ones in uh, Salt and Buttes, are mud volcanoes. Others are degassing. We have hot springs over these areas, just like you have the hot springs and the geysers in Yellowstone. And uh, you have them, as, for example, in um, the Long Valley caldera as well. You have geothermal systems and ground deformation. So according to the USGS, at least 10 volcanic eruptions have taken place in the past 1,000 years in California. 10 in 1,000, so that's about one every uh, 100 years. And that means that we're overdue. The most recent one was in Lassen Peak in 1914 to 1917 in Northern California. And by uh, USGS estimates, they say the future volcanic eruptions in the state are inevitable. And we, again, we say they are Medicine Lake Volcano, Mount Shasta, Lassen Peak Volcano, uh, the Long Valley Caldera, which is a super volcano. And uh, so whoever is there, please be careful. Clear Lake Volcanic Field is located in, beside Clear Lake in California's northern coast ranges and Long Valley is located in Mono County, closer to the border with Nevada, and that's just southwest of, uh, as we know, from Yellowstone. The coastal volcanic field lies in Inyo, the uh, Mono Inyo craters in California. They said that those are most likely, from the previous videos that I did, those are most likely to have the uh, activity, they say. They're at the western edge of the basin, 
and Sultan Buttes is on to the, to the south. At the tectonic depression formed by the San Andreas Fault and the San Jacinto Falls. According to USGS again, there's a range of hazards which are associated with volcanic eruptions and they say that the explosive eruption blasts lava fragments or tephra as well as gas into the air with tremendous force. The finest particles of volcanic ash below upward forming an eruption column that can attain stratospheric heights in just a few minutes and simultaneously searing volcanic gas laden with ash and coarse chunks of lava as we saw for example uh, last year in uh, Kilauea may sweep down the flanks of the volcano as a pyroclastic flow and ballistics and chunks of solid rock or partly molten lava crashing down as far as several miles from the vent. The ash in the eruption cloud carried by the prevailing winds may remain suspended for hundreds of miles before it hits the ground again. During less energetic effusion eruptions, hot fluid lava may spew from the volcano as lava flows that can cover many miles in one single day. Also, we have to be concerned because the Long Valley Caldera volcano is moving. Susan Ducal Duclos of uh, Daily Coin reports the experts are concerned at the deformation of the Long Valley supervolcano, high number of earthquakes indicating pending volcanic eruption. The Long Valley Caldera near Mammoth Lakes, experts say, are, uh, has, has uh, over the last 100 days, volcano has been acting up, describing it as the unusual amount of earthquakes that have hit Mammoth Lake over the last months, means all eyes should be carefully watching these earthquakes. In 1915, Lassen Peak, that's Long Valley Caldera, it's one of the volcanoes that we've been uh, given a heads up for by the USGS. Lassen Peak, 1915, erupted and wrecked the huge portion of the state over the last 100 days. Much longer, Long Valley, larger Long Valley Caldera began uh, the uptick of quakes and what's doing, what it's doing as geologists at the USGS concerned. According to scientific instruments monitoring by USGS, the area in vicinity of Long Valley Caldera, supervolcano, of course, deforming, moving rapidly compared to previous records. How sure are they? 95% confidence interval, the data assembly uh, is significant. Now, the Long Valley Caldera last erupted at Bishop Ash about 760,000 years ago. It covered most of the southwestern United States, including Los Angeles, with ash. The continued volcanic activity which produced Mammoth Mountain with its popular ski slopes is still active and is being closely monitored by the USGS. According to reports, this massive supervolcano has the potential to unleash a fiery hell across the whole planet, and the magma-filled mountain has a history of doing this. If this were to occur again, again, the molten rock would not only incinerate the earth for thousands of miles, but the toxic ash spewing from opening of the crust would temporarily block out the rays of the sun, which scientists say would cause temperatures to fall to levels not seen since the Ice Age. It's basically what we've been saying that uh, would happen if Yellowstone erupted. Now, this is just a small portion of uh, what people are keeping a close eye on. Caltech is also tracking and monitoring Mammoth Lake earthquakes. That is the Long Valley Caldera, Lassen Peak area. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. 
more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.